In this tutorial, I want to create a drop-down list for items based on what was selected for category. The problem I face is that my data is in tabular form. So they are one below each others, and I don't know how many cars I will have, how many closings I will have, and how many appliances I would have. In previous lessons, for which I'm going to put a link in the description, you can see how we have done this when the data was next to each other. So to do this, we first need to create the first dropdown. To get the first dropdown, you can either type the categories because usually when you are using a dropdown menu, your list will not change that much. Or you can do something crazy like me where I'm using a filter formula and then the unique formula in Excel to be able to get the unique categories that are in my data set. So I'm just gonna pause for a second in case you want to copy paste the formula. Here it is, you can just uh, take it or you can just download the workbook and have a look at it. In this exercise, you can also type them, that's fine. We're just gonna go here and go for data validation list and then we're gonna select the three categories. So that's very simple, standard. The problem will come for the items. So how can I get all the items related, for example, to appliances? Well, let's write a formula here. Let's troubleshoot it, ensure it's working well, and then we can copy paste it to the data validation. This is best practice. I like to do it like this because if you have an error and you put it in data validation, it's very hard to know what is the source of the error. So we're gonna use the offset formula. So we start offset. I need a reference. So I'm gonna start at cell B1 where I have my items. And then I need to know how many rows to go down. So if you see appliance starts here. So how can I do this? Well, I can use a match formula. So if I do match, my lookup value is appliance. My lookup array is here. It's column A. And then I want an exact match. Now let's keep it like this and we will need to fix it in a bit. I will show you this, but let's go to the column argument. In terms of columns, I don't want to move because I started at B1. I just want to go down. I don't want to move any column, right? So we're just gonna put zero. Then you have height. Height is the number of items you want to pick up. So for example, in appliances, we have two. So for example, I can just type two now hard coded. We're gonna put a formula to fix this also. And then the width is the number of columns I need to take. In this case, I need to take one column. It's not gonna change, so I can just type one and keep it. Now let's close the parentheses and press enter. If you see here, I got oven and then a zero. If I change to closing, I'm getting t-shirt, which is here and shoes. So every time I'm getting one down, instead of getting fridge and oven, I got oven and zero. Instead of getting shirt and t-shirts, because I selected only two elements, I'm getting t-shirt and shoes. That means that my offset function is going one down more than I want it to because of this match. So I'm just going to do minus one here to fix it. And as you can see, we get now shirt, t-shirt, and then we get the appliance, fridge, and oven. So this is one fix that we did. The second fix is this two that is hard coded because I don't know how many elements I have. I cannot hard code it. So what can I do here? I can replace this two with a count if formula. So we do count if my range is my column A, then comma. What is my criteria? My criteria is appliance. Then I can close the parentheses. So I'm going to count how many appliances I have and I'm going to return the number of elements. Same for closing, same for car. So we do enter. This works obviously, but now if we go to car, you can see that you get all the cars. And by the way, if you don't see this data, what you could do 
is go here select the formula from the formula bar and do F9 this happens when you have an older version of Excel so it will not have this feature where it can show you the result of this formula and here up you can see all the cars don't press enter press escape to get out and go back to the formula and now we only have to put dollar signs everywhere and then we can copy paste it so let's do dollar sign here here and here now we can copy paste the formula so we select it go here control C then escape we will go to my data validation click here list and then we paste the formula and we say okay and you can see those are my cars if I change to closing those are my items so this is how it works for tabular data I hope you enjoyed this lesson if you did please leave a thumb up let me know in the comment section what you think which methodology you prefer whether you deal more with tabular data or normal data that are next to each others and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you didn't do so